more breaking news as heartthrobs Zac Efron reportedly battles cocaine addiction and Backstreet Boy Nick Cart reveals his past addiction to cocaine, ecstasy, and vodka. Anyway, <laughs> all right, Poor moving baby. right along. 25-year-old Zac Efron, best known for his role in High School Musical, is making shocking headlines today. TMZ is reporting the young heartthrob has been treated twice for cocaine addiction. Also wow. making headlines, Backstreet Boys member Nick Carter reveals in his new book he battled cocaine, ecstasy, and vodka addiction and says, quote, the amount I did caused changes to my brain that are responsible for my bouts of depression now, end quote. Is teen fame a prescription for drug addiction? Oh, this is such an awful subject. It's, listen, we all know that it's an epidemic worldwide, drug addiction. It is. Mm -hmm. However, when you are a teen celebrity, a teen star in the public eye, it all, be, all that goes with being in the public eye, it enhances when you're young. People hang around you. People want to be with you. They'll give you whatever you want. They'll give you drinks underage, offer you drugs. It comes with it, unfortunately. And if you kind of make a list of the kids that survived are on a good path and the kids that didn't, mm -hmm. I'm afraid that the ones that didn't is bigger than the list of kids that survived. They're not all like Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to see this and actually talk about it. It it makes me want to just wail with, you know, pain. However, these people, a lot of these people, are surrounded by awful people that will do anything to be with that celebrity. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I think too. Having lived it, I'll say that adults definitely offered me drugs when I was even under eighteen let me into clubs that I shouldn't be in. Mm. I think it's like a miracle when people make it through. And I lost so many friends to addiction that grew up the same way. So I really feel like it's a million strikes against you, you know, Can and I really I feel for both, these guys. Do you feel like when you're young and you have this high that you get from being famous, from all the adulation, that sometimes what the drugs do is you keep chasing that feeling, that feeling of being loved and that drugs kind of fill that hole and that's why some young people get into it? I think it? there's like a loneliness. Like I think the fame doesn't match with your internal image of yourself. So mm -hmm. there's this weird disconnect of how people see you and who you really are. And I think that's kind of part of what leads people to drugs. True. I think that, you know, two kids want to be a part of a group. Everybody wants to be in their own little, you know, happening group of people. And a lot of kids do it because it think, they think it makes them cool and accepted by the older people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But you know what? It sounds like a job for 1-800-Rent-A-Black-Mama. You know why? <laughs> Ask you, where the hell you get money for cocaine and vodka? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think I feel sad for these little boys, but I volunteer to be the honorary mama to keep drug dealers and parasites away from. <laughs> Is, I think is, Zach is incredibly talented and yeah, I, yes, and, yes. I and, and, and in great shape and I think he, he's healthy and hopefully he'll stay healthy and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know yeah I think he's, I think he's amazing so I really hope he comes back from this mm -hmm. now we do want to say Zach Efron and his publicist have not confirmed these reports so we don't know that he has been treated at all for any sort of addiction it's just what TMZ is reporting if it's true we wish him well that's right, yeah. that's right. Meanwhile, music superstars Pink